Hello everybody, I'm Joshua Garcia, Hoyoke's Mayor and Chair of the School Committee and the School Building Committee. I'm also the dad of two children in the dual language program at Metcalf School. More than five years ago, I was working with community and school leaders to build two new middle schools to strengthen Hoyoke's middle school programming and allow us to return to separate elementary and middle schools. Unfortunately, the public vote for funding those schools didn't pass in 2019. So we've readjusted our plans and we're trying to now build one new middle school within our tax limit. The earliest a new middle school can be built, however, is in 2026. We can't wait that long to rezone our schools. Our dual language program is now in three schools. And as those students grow, they need a middle school with room for dual language programming. Metcalf is serving so many students that the Holyoke Public Schools had a rent space and a nearby building to accommodate middle school classrooms. Other schools like Peck and Hoyoke STEM and Veritas Prep, soon to be called Hoyoke Middle, they have to share school buildings. Meanwhile, some HPS schools are under-enrolled and they have empty classrooms. Smaller schools, while they sound good in theory, they're often inefficient. Depending on an enrollment in any given year, some classrooms may have 12 kids while Others may have up to 28 kids. Sometimes there aren't enough resources for every child to have access to programs like art or music or the additional support they need in reading or math. In January, the school board unanimously supported Superintendent Soto's recommendation to move to distinct elementary and middle schools by the fall of 2023 and to redraw the school attendance boundaries to accommodate this. I recognize that the work is gonna be difficult, but this is urgent and essential if we really want to give every child the education that they deserve.